Hello guys, today in this video we will be seeing about how to silo communicate between our Arduino board and our Arduino So here the main data receiver is our Arduino board and the data sender from where the data will be generated is the MATLAB software So now let's take a look upon the Arduino board Here the output pin is defined as 13th number and the board rate is set to 9600 here the serial available is checking the loop that if any serial data is available on the serial com port is or not so here simply i have kept like 100 and 101 if there is a 100 on the serial port then led will glow and if there's 101 then led will not glow i mean that's low so copy this code i am keeping the video for two seconds so that you can pause and get the code else then i am keeping the code in the description you can copy from below the video now let's take a look on the MATLAB video the same code for the MATLAB will be given in the description copy the code from there and now open the MATLAB I hope you all must be having the Arduino ID and the MATLAB software pre-installed so now in the command window paste the code and don't forget whenever you are connecting your arduino board to a laptop remind me if you that there are multiple usb ports on the arduino board on your laptop so that you need to see the com port for in which your arduino is connected so mine one is com3 so edit the code now they are asking about whether to turn the led on or off so, write down here that you turn on the LED and not turn it off. Now, let's let make you see the output. Here is my Arduino board and the LED connected to it via serial cable. So, now let's enter 100. So, this is the LED and it will glow when I press the enter. Will not change if you enter the same data. Remain the same. So now MATLAB will ask me 10 times for such demo. Why? Because I have increased the number of loop. Because I have set the loop of 1 to 10. If you increase the number of the loop and replace the code, then it will execute it will be executed a number of times. Like if you press N. Now the code will be executed n number of times where you need to define the number of n from the starting one. So this is how it works. Now I assume that you might be working with the Arduino software as well and may have many multiple projects with the Arduino board. So if you want to furthermore enlarge this system of serial communication between MATLAB and the Arduino, you can further use of motor driving pins like you can send the commands F, L, B, R respectively for the forward, backward, left and right if you want to drive a car using MATLAB and the Arduino board you can send the command likewise and then similar process of conditional checking is to be done on the Arduino side so that you can execute even if let's suppose if you want to execute some kind of block or UDF function then you just need to call like Arduino init I am not defining the function right now but you can you know what the procedure is right here I need to define the void IJ then whensoever if the serial data will be 100 if as per the serial data of the MATLAB then it will directly come to the value of this point and then the RJT block will be called so down here somewhere there will be the RT, RJT I want to drive another motor or I want I have interface let's suppose that I have, might have interface in a relay on the 9 multiple things can be done using the MATLAB and the Arduino serial communication. I hope you enjoy the video. If you find difficulty in uploading or code or finding any difficulty retrieving the hardware then please contact